this is going to be your startup screen. Use these arrows, highlight the question mark, enter. The size is going to give you your option of your tires, stationary, pick and carry. Attracted, intermediate, you got to go down another one to get full. Then OK. Counterweight, OK. And all your boom choices up at the top. You know, no auxiliary jib, no uh, ladder, or uh, auxiliary head, no jib. Auxiliary head, no jib. Jib, no auxiliary head. Jib with auxiliary head. Uh, this is your boom mode, A and M. Since I already have boom pushed out, it's not allowing you to even have B or X. So A is your default light pick mode. Got that? Whatever winch you're picking from. And then your standard, uh, I guess your Grove code. So that's all good then. Okay. So let's check your figure. Alrighty. To do outriggers. Come down to the bottom screen. This is all your engine parameters and outrigger control. Hit your uh, three bar. Three bar is always going to be your menu. So go into your menu. So then you have your outrigger control. Go into that. Enter. So now you have two choices. You can either control your beams or you control your jack. So if you control your jacks. You gotta hit enter again, so now it knows you're doing jacks. And it can use these four buttons to highlight them, or on the hand rest, these four buttons. These four, so. To pick what direction they're going is on this armrest. So now, up and in, down and out, and then these kill your certain functions. You can kill just your swing, just your scope, winch two, boom up and down. This is your overload that if you max out or overload the crane, you'll still allow you to boom up with that weight. And this is your winch one. So over here on the side is all your functions still. And you can turn one on at a time, like it just turned on one, turn it off. Here, ah, shit. Uh, you gotta to get out of this because now these are outrigger buttons. You scroll over to the menu, get into it. You can get screen brightnesses in that one. Uh, these are your swing percentages or your function percentages, so you can get them there and change them. I usually run the swing about 80% because this thing's jerky as can be. These are your, your function parameters, I guess, how they actually operate. If it's straight linear, if it's a curve. So yeah, it changes. Scott A. Uh, yeah. So then. Up here has your function all, and then all those should be lit up, so you can turn to no longer, I can turn boom up, or boom up and down, off, so I have all the other function. I can turn winch off, and in, to get the high speed, you can do two ways. High speed, you're number one, hit that one, and it's state, and it's temporary on that side. That side stays on. Horns on the front here. Same thing with this one, it's the outside stays, keeps it on, turn it off. Your free swing button's right there though. You hit that while you're cabling up, you know, gives you free swing again. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if you want to change anything, go into the menu here. And then it comes up. You gotta go back to the question mark, and then you can change where the fuck you want. All right.